Hey guys, my name is Jared Wellen. I'm an instructor at the Bernardo Free Academy. I'm here again with Matt, and today we're going to go over a Sionagi, which is a judo throw, or more specifically, a drop Sionagi. So a lot of people will teach this for jiu-jitsu. Here's the thing, though. It's a judo throw. So if I'm here, anytime I'm trying to get a shoulder down to the mat, in judo, they can't touch the legs in competition, but in jiu-jitsu, we can. So if I'm here with a cross grip, same side grip, whatever, and I'm trying to drop down real low, I'm coming down here. This is such a pain. Okay? Even with good technique, etc. However, what we're going to do is a modification of it. So this is a judo throw for jiu-jitsu. So let's look at the drop sionagi first. Let's just make it really easy. He gets a grip, I break, I can keep the sleeve, I can come to cross collar, or even sometimes we'll teach where I come in here, I'm coming deep to the armpit. My goal is to get the shoulder low. So if Matt is nice and square to me, and again, we're just drilling. When I'm here, I'm coming like this, and as I step, I'm going to drop to my knees heavy here. And I want to be underneath him and get this shoulder tight to me. I don't want him standing up with posture. I am exposing my back. That's why we're going to be careful of the judo for jiu-jitsu stuff if we're not paying attention to the rule set. But now I bring his shoulder down. He'll do a nice roll. As I come here, I can come up to an arm bar, side control, etc. So one more time, just to get this, just so we're familiar with where we're starting. He gets a grip, right? Good break. I step in. I drop. I pull down. And here I am. Okay? Again, judo players are going to play this way better than I can do, uh, but you get the idea. The problem is, in jiu-jitsu, if Matt and I, if he grips up here and I start like this, and we're super high up, super posture, it exposes a lot of things for like inside trips, I can go for a double, single, etc. So as I'm here, a lot of times, jiu-jitsu guys will push their hips back. So maybe I get a grip here. If his feet are far away, it's hard to drop down for things, okay? So what we're going to do for this, we'll keep the grip, but... Watch for a second, instead of trying to step here and turn this way, I'm going to step and drop here, 90 degrees, and bring his shoulder right here. I want to keep my knee close to his foot, okay? And we'll deal with some different stances in a second. But so he gets his grip, I break, and I come here. Cross collar works. I can even be on the elbow. I actually find sometimes that's better, especially if he's holding on and I can't break. So I'm here like this. I'm going to drop. And I want to make sure he gets as low as possible. So if he stands up, I might pull him. He brings his hips back or low. Now I drop and I punch here. Notice I kept both grips. So now the arm bar is actually a little easier. I can come up, catch it. Or if he starts turning away, I chase the back. Okay, so we'll go over that a few times. And then add in grips and stances. So like I said, I can come here and break. So I have a same side sleeve or collar. Or if I can't break this, I catch the elbow. This, I think, has more pulling power, so I kind of like it. If he stands up high, I might take a trip. I might try to go to something else. So I want to pull him a little bit. He drops his hips low, and then I go for the throw. I drop, twist, here I am. I could even come from here right over to an armbar. So let's talk about stances. If he has a good, like, uh, we both have a left foot forward, let's say. He gets a grip. When I go here and break, it's hard because the stance is such that if I drop here, I don't have a lot of momentum. I want to force him to almost step this left foot back. So I can look at, keep the forwards, almost like I'm doing a trip. I push him a little bit here, get a setup, he steps back, and there's my turn. Okay, another way you could play it is think about pulling guard. Typically when we pull guard, I'm going to pull to the side where I have control of the hand. But if his left foot forward, especially if he's watching for that, I can fake with this right foot, he steps back and I go for the throw. So keep that foot forward. I come here, he goes, boom, you're at. So a couple ways we can play around with feet. You can also think of what happens if I do this drop Sinagi modification and he doesn't go, but he's leaning way forward. I want you to think of an ankle pick. So he gets a good grip, left or right, doesn't matter for this. I break, I come here, and let's say I pull him, push him, I see him square up, everything's good to go. I drop, but he doesn't fall. I come here, I'm pulling. So I'm here at this 90 degrees, I'm trying to get the shoulder down, but his weight's here. What I'm gonna do is take my right foot and step up and push him back 45 as I grab the ankle. Look, I come here. Now I'm in a great spot to start setting up for passing. I can come to a knee slice, I can clear the leg, or just come in, even up to headquarters if I want. So there's a lot of options, but I want you to think of this as a one-two punch. So first time, I'm going to go for that drop Sionagi with a modification. Second time, ankle pick. So he gets a good grip. 
I'm here. I pay attention. If he's here, maybe I pull him, I get him square, get him as low as I can. If we're close, keep pushing into him. Wait till he's far away. Then I drop, I turn, boom, I come up, side control, arm bar, or if he rolls away, and chase the back. Second time, he doesn't go down. Same idea. I break this grip, I'm here, I get the stance where I want, I drop, it doesn't work, I step, ankle pick, and then I can work through for my pass. So just a couple things to think about that are different from pulling guard. Pulling guard is very common in jiu-jitsu, it's safe, it's easy, but I need some takedowns in my repertoire to make sure I have some kind of attack. So try it out, hope it works.